Hey Aries, thank you so much for tuning in with me for your weekly message. Please take whatever resonates, leave whatever don't. Everything may not resonate with everyone because this is a general message, not a personal. If you would like a personal, the information is listed in the description of this video along with so much more other information. Um, when you book a personal with me, I do not use any cards or any tools. It's just straight vision. Um, I am a psychic medium as shown in live readings here in YouTube. I also will be now in TikTok. So follow me there as well. Uh, I will provide information in the description as well. All right, let's get into your message, Aries. is it please show us a message for aries let's get two more okay and one more okay or two more they want to get all right so we have communication spiritual growth and fun times and gossip hmm So someone could have went from the party life to becoming more spiritual or um, maybe people view you as, you know, the fun type, party type, the carefree type or whatever. But you have, you may, I mean, that could be a part of you, but you may have found yourself, your spirit. You may have um, realized who you really are. And that was just the... You know, because with finding yourself, you may dibble and dab in certain things. You may um, you may be confused on your journey. But it looked like someone is finding their themselves, finding who you truly are. And others are viewing you as fraudulent. Viewing you as, oh, they're not really that. They're really not into spirituality. Or they don't, they're not spiritual. Or they're not... Um, they're not trying to grow. They're try because look at what they you remember. Like they used to do this and do that. Like it's gossip. It's gossip about you, um, who you are, who you're changing into, who you becoming, or it's really who you really are. It's just that you finding yourself again, and it's coming out. And others is you know some people can't accept change. Some people don't want people to change, and especially if they have been a part of the old you. Of wanting to party all the time, drink, smoke, or, you know, or just have this really carefree um, side of you. They're wanting that because they have not grown. So it's definitely energies here that's not liking your growth. Um, you could be stepping into a spiritual connection as well. Um, I feel like you are communicating more or this is for someone who needs to start communicating more with your your higher self, with your spirit guides, um, with the divine. I feel like also someone could have just recently went through a karmic lesson um, and you have grown from that. I mean, you know, that's what it's for. For us to go experience certain things so we can grow from it. And it's something you've grown from, but it just seems like people don't want to see you change. And this change could make you happier, could make you more, um, bring you just more wisdom. And people just don't like that, you know, because they have not changed. And they're wanting you to stay, or they feel like, see, they feel like... uh Due to the changes, you may look at them as like beneath you, but that's not the case. That's not growing and becoming more wiser. That is, um, that's, that's not with the spiritual growth. You wouldn't look at someone like that, you know, and if you are, you're not, you need more work. Um, we all have work to do and continue to do work, never stop with ourselves, but um, due to the level of the growth level that I'm seeing in this message, it's like you have overcame so much and you have, it's starting to show on the outer you, in the outer you, others are viewing you like whoever this, this person or people are, they're gossiping about you. Um, they want to 
make you look bad to others as well. Like, no, nah, they came uh uh-uh. Like, people could be like, yeah, you know, Aries, they're, they're changed. They're doing well for themselves. They look very happy or, you know. But then it's, here go this group or these people or this person. It's like, no, nah, they didn't change. Down talking you. Um, just negative. All right, let's see more. Show us more for Aries. Let's get more on communication for Aries. Let's get more on this energy for Aries. Okay, so it could be a lot of uh a lot going on here. Um you could be communicating to a lot of people. What is this about? Show us more. Seven of Cups. So this could be multiple people you're commun communicating with. Um, I don't know. It just seems like you need to keep some people out your business. Or you just need to stop hanging with certain people. Or associating yourself with certain people. Because they're gossiping about you. And it's not in a good way. Um, it looked like you're doing business. Communication. Like, you know trying to figure out figure out something or this could be uh clients or you know business partners or something um for some for some of you you need to communicate more okay communication needs to be open because there's offers that's wanting to be get want wanting to be given <laughs> um it's offers that's that's ready for you to take okay they just need you to be open for it so you need to have your hand open okay communication so keep your communication open at this time uh you could be receiving emails uh calls texts voice messages make sure you're checking them all but it's something um uh, pertaining to your money um this could be a business a, a financial opportunity for you um show us more on spiritual growth spiritual growth Someone could be learning how to meditate or this is what you are needing to do around this time. Um, someone could be learning how to breathe and uh, how to uh, cope with your emotions or how to... It's like someone could be growing emotionally or uh, gaining emotional maturity. Shows more on the spiritual growth for Aries. All right, lovers in reverse. I feel like you're putting time and effort into self and releasing a lover. It could be a Gemini or someone with Gemini placements. Um, but for some, this is just you. You're growing to love and learn yourself. And it's like I have to release this person or this, this or this these people. Show us more on the lovers. Show us more on the lovers for Aries. The lovers. It's like... It's like someone had to be removed. So it could be a lover or you're realizing someone that you had a connection with is no is not healthy for you. They could be, uh, wow, I just heard praying on your downfall. Yeah, you got a hater in the mix. Someone is praying on your downfall or was praying on your downfall. But uh, it looked like a cycle is not complete with someone. Hold on, show us more on this energy with the world in reverse for Aries. The world in reverse for Aries. Why is this world in reverse? All right, so you have a lover also. So you may have been dealing with two lovers or something. You could have been. Um, there's a spiritual union with someone, but I feel like someone could have. You realize it's some someone that you had to let go of, and then it's someone else where the uh, cycle is not complete. It could be with the Scorpio with the death here, um, but it's coming out with the world in reverse and a death in reverse. So there's an incomplete cycle with someone. Something is not over. You don't want it to be over. So this could be like a spiritual union. So this is why you had to let this other person go so you could um, grow spiritually with this other person. Regardless of the signs, take it however it resonates, but let's see more on the death in the world in reverse. The Fool, Three of Swords. So yeah, someone had a third party. And someone don't want the third party to be over. Like, okay, so if someone is in a connection with someone, whether marriage, long-term relationship, living with someone, however, 
um, it looked like someone is wanting to release that person to go towards another person. But it looked like that's not happening or something. Like, if someone is heartbroken because someone is taking a leap. Oh, so someone, it could, you could be. You could be releasing someone to go towards another person that you that you feel like the cycle is not complete with. Let me get more on the Three of Swords or Aries. Show us more on the Three of Swords. We have the chariot. So a cancer could be uh, heartbroken because you're wanting to take this leap of faith towards someone else. So if it's not a cancer, it's just whoever this other person is. It's like it, they know that you want to release them or you want to go towards something. And they're not wanting you to. It's like someone don't want to let go of you. Let's get more on the fool. The two of pentacles. So yeah, this was a choice that you had to make. The tower is coming in. So it's like if you didn't make it, spirit was going to force you to make it because this is a spiritual union. Um, the tower is coming in. That's shutting everything down because something needs to change. Something needs to move. And it's taking someone too long to make this change. So spirit like, okay, since you in this... It's since you in indecision, so since you don't know what you want to do, we're going to go ahead and bring that tower in for you, okay? We're going to bring this tower in, shake everything up to force you to make a decision. Show us more on the tower. For Aries, the tower. Show us more on the tower. Which is your energy to Aries or Scorpio. Show us more on the tower. The tower. What's this tower? The tower is justice. So this tower is, is coming through to bring in that balance. Because something has been out of whack. It's been imbalanced due to a choice in love. Show us more on fun times. For Aries, fun times. Seven of Swords in reverse. So the fun times could have been like dealing with multiple people, uh, you know, um, just living the world, doing worldly things. And someone is realizing, look, that's not fun anymore. Or, you know, I want to stop playing games. Or someone have to in order to have this spiritual union with someone because it's not up to the person. It's up to spirit. And the spirit is like, no, this connection can't come together. Someone is... Um, lying deceiving cheating being deceptive so someone needs to release that so the seven of swords in reverse game over the games are over someone is uh coming to realization that they're wanting to change for the better show us more on gossip so the gossip definitely could be like oh that person is not changing they're still gonna do this or do that show us more on a gossip Four of Pentacles, yeah, like, yeah, oh, they're not going to change. They stuck in their ways. They're not going to change. Yeah, they're not going to change. That's what they're saying. That's the gossip. But it looked like you're you're about to prove everyone wrong. King of Wands, your energy show us more on the King of Wands. Yeah, they're talking about you, Aries. Show us more on the King of Wands. Four of Wands, yeah, they're, they're, in, they're not, um, they're, yeah, they're gossiping. They're saying, like, oh, they're not going to change, uh, they're not going to, that, that person is not committal. They want to, they don't want a commitment. They're never going to settle down. Uh, this could be the gossip in your ear, Aries, to prevent you from moving forward. Queen of Wands in reverse. Is someone jealous? Someone is jealous. Someone is jealous because they see the potential. They see the potential in your growth. They see what you're, what you're, what where you're trying to go, like due to self. They see where the connection is. For some of you, it's a connection that you're coming into. They see where this can go, and it's just jealousy surrounding it, and it's trying to keep you apart. Show us more. Yeah, this is becoming a burden, weighing heavy on someone. Yeah. The temperance and the five of cups. Well, someone is about to be uh, just sad, okay? Sad and regretting 
the fact that all the drama, all the problems that they were trying to cause or get people to see in you, someone was playing games. It could be a fire sign, a Sagittarius in particular, or another Aries or Leo, but um, someone was playing games to try to keep keep this from happening, keep you from changing, keep you from... They wanted to keep you in indecision. Someone didn't want you to make up your mind because they know once you make up your mind, you're stuck on it. Like, that's what you're going to do. But someone was trying to keep you in confusion, keep you um, from from making a choice. Because it's like someone didn't want that balance for you, didn't want you to, to have balance in your life. It's like, because the more you are uh, out of whack and uh, in lack um, then you will rely on them or you will still party with them or you will hang out with them <laughs> or you would just uh, still do with them if this is another lover some of you it's another lover they could have been gossiping trying to or just down talk you someone is really nasty seven of wands they're telling you to block off this gossip group or this gossip girl whoever this is that's speaking negatively on you and manipulating you the magician in reverse Someone is gossiping and trying to um, manipulate you into being single or to, like, to not make this choice over here. What is this? Spirit, let's get some of these. Spirit, show us a message for Aries. Yeah, someone is very manipulative. Someone is not loyal. Someone is not trustworthy. Someone is, um, they definitely not, they're not committal, um, uh, or not trying to commit. Or they, if this was you in the past, it's like someone is trying to keep you there. So you will never move on to someone else. So you will never grow. So you will never become this better you. Show us a message for Aries. 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 So you have a love call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. So this could be the person, someone that you're supposed to be coming into connection with, where the tower is coming in to force this to happen. Um, you could be reaching out to this person or this person is reaching out to you. Show us more or have. Show us more for Aries. Yeah, you got a bitter female. It's a f feminine energy that's that's uh trying to yeah stab you in the back heartbreak pain separation deception shocking attack yeah that's exactly what happened light lightning sudden change shocking news surprise epiphany upheaval transformation what i've been saying through this whole message like you're transforming you're transforming your maybe you have beliefs on um you know, maybe you didn't never want us to change or you did what you maybe you even looked at spirituality different and but now you're seeing a change you're seeing something in a different light and it's causing you to wake up. It's causing you to let me go ahead and make this change. Let me go ahead and do better for myself. Let me go ahead and go towards what spirit is guiding me towards. So this is a love situation that you're being guided towards. And this could be the sudden change and someone don't like this because they already felt like you were leaving them. So this could be a, a, someone that you are dealing with and they feel like you are leaving them. They feel like so they need to stab you in the back by manipulating you and to stand or show us more. Yeah, receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. That's what I was just explaining too. Like someone definitely have closure issues. You're receiving what you want because of the changes that you're making. And it's good changes. And someone is watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting. Yeah, perception. Listen. It's like I'm repeating myself at this point. You have, I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming, fun, flirting, want to date. So this is someone you want to date. They want to date you. And it's someone else in the energy that shines to keep you from this. We have heart with a key. Welcome in love. Meeting the one. Open your heart. Getting together. Perfect. So this could be a perfect connection. But again, there's a gossip person, someone in your energy that's trying to manipulate you into not making uh, forward movement however they're doing whatever they're doing to manipulate you it could be through communication or it could be manipulation in other forms okay but someone is definitely in the mix trying to backstab you out of something that's uh that could be great so not only a connection but 
the new and approved you. It's like someone is trying to keep you from this. Because you chose to single them out or release yourself from them. Um, this could be someone, maybe someone was married to this person or had a, a connection with this person some way, somehow. Yeah, it's like you're releasing a lover to go towards another lover. And someone is not liking it. Someone is bitter about that. Someone is very bitter. Um, even if you didn't say that you want to leave this person. Look, I'm, I'm leaving you to go towards someone else. You don't have to say it. This person feel it. They know it. So, they're bitter about it. And they're trying to backstab you. They're trying to manipulate you. But, you know, they want, they want to keep you in lack so you can't move forward. However that lack is for you. It could be a financial lack. It could be uh, man manipulating you through your heart chakra. Try to make you feel, feel like, no, nah, I don't want love. Or, no, nah, that's not for me. Or, But it really is. But that's why that tower is going to come through and shake some stuff up. To make someone really see the truth. Alright, but that's all I have for you, Aries. Until next time, many blessings.